Just very slowly, Mark. Okay, remove this one, please. And To, can you help Mark? This is now the real situation here. Good morning! Good morning! Oh! Hi guys, it's a beautiful evening once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I decided to make a trap because more than 50 of my quality breeders are already gone because they were eaten up by this predator birds. I have observed these birds two weeks ago already and I just realized that my quality goldfish which I bought for a price actually, it's a, a costly one, were already gone. Of course, you cannot detect that immediately because there are hundreds of breeders right here. And only to find out this morning that I lost some five of this big pearl scale. These are very dear to me. These fish are actually taken care of since they were small. And now that they are already breeders, they were eaten up by these predator birds. Well, it's raining here and this time is the best time for this trap to be established here because during rainy or cold uh, season, these birds really are coming over. And I have spotted two birds. These are big birds actually that are really fun of eating fish. You know, this area here is just very close to the sanctuary of this, you know, birds and that's why they are able to spot our fish right here because these are mangrove areas. The vicinity is just the, the haven for these birds. And you will see that we have prepared this bamboo and nylon and we put some fence in order for these birds to pass through here and get the bait that we have prepared for them. Actually, these are small shubunkin and Japanese koi. And the moment the birds passes here, that uh, trap will immediately release and hopefully we can catch the bird. You know, it's my desire to, you know, just drive away. In fact, I already have spent sleepless nights just to drive them away, but they're coming back. 
So we have to, you know, take some drastic action by means of this trap. And I hope that we can catch them by tomorrow. Well, if we don't catch them, we will do this trap again and again and again until we're going to be able to, you know, neutralize them. So we were not able to catch the bird and you will see the actual situation here. You will see this uh, tarp. We used this to cover everything so that the birds could not get and kill our fish. So we have to be patient with this because this is not an easy task. This cannot be done overnight. Of course, we will maintain the trap and this trap will continue until we can catch this bird and just allow me to you know have a little tour of this garden i am so happy because i have these plants now i have new plants actually that are flowering now you will see here i don't know what's the name of this plant maybe you you know this i just passed by a garden and i got some old flowers and the owner of it said that you can plant the seeds of the flowers and scatter in the place where you wanted them to grow. Just give me some time to tour you around. Over there we also have this uh, mani mani, <laughs> these are peanuts actually that are flowering every morning and during the day they are flowering really with this yellow flowers and these plants are good because they are very hardy. You can just plant anywhere. And there is no requirement about the, the temperature. So over here we have also some good plants. I'm dreaming about planting more flowering plants here. So please be with me as we are going to feed our pets. Actually we have so many fish and I would like to mix their food now. I have here... Uh, talk and you give me water. Uh, just fill this with water please and... We will use this to soak all the feeds that we are going to feed now to our catfish, to our, you see, to our goldfish. And this is a floater pellet for the milkfish, but this can be also given to the catfish. So, this is it. So guys, we are here mixing our food for our ducks and this is a delicious breakfast because this is skin of this uh, pork. We are buying this at a very cheap price because these are the called chicharron. <laughs> these are chicharron which are not sold in the market. We are buying this per sack and this is good for our ducks. These are the daily routine that we are doing here that I am doing here I'd like to do this sometimes personally because it's it's really my joy to feed our animals and look after if you know they're really full they have eaten much of this food because if we don't supervise then chances are they might be overlooked the care that your animals should receive would be best attained if you're going to supervise closely your staff. I normally do not rely solely upon the work of our staff. I have to supervise it and this is it. So we're waiting for some time for this to be soaked with water and for the meantime let's uncover our fish pond. You see this one? This is the situation. Can you remove this? So we'll remove this one and Mark will Oh, just very slowly, Mark. Okay, remove this one, please. 
And to, can you help Mark? This is now the real situation here. We're covering everything. You know, I covered the net, but the beak of these birds are very long and very sharp. That still it can penetrate down under and kill our fish. In fact, I have one casualty right here. But uh, this is not killed today because you are, they are actually injured last night or the other night, but it died today. But this is not the casualty because we already have covered everything. And uh, we will feed now the catfish. I'm so happy about this catfish because, you know, there are so many buyers that manifested their intention to buy. I posted this on the Facebook page and there are so many people placing their orders. In fact, I cannot cater all the orders that our, you know, followers have placed. We will do our best efforts only. In breeding our catfish, we have to give them sufficient food before the scheduled breeding. So we will feed our catfish right here. I'd like to dip my feet inside or in the middle of this tank. Oh, the catfish are here. Come on. Okay. I will feed you. Up, 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 up. Be careful. And you look at the aquaponics. Oh, we can grow very. Um, effectively, this water spinach over the tank of our catfish. I just float it. Come on. Only before I did not use to soak this with water first, but I deem it very necessary to soak this with water so that they will not be choked because this catfish tends to really very voracious they are eaters actually and this soak uh, pellet is already soft that's why I, I find it easy for them to eat their food last time we were able to put in the mud pan some 5,000 catfish baby catfish and we will just wait for some time before we can uh, sell this to the supermarket. Actually, I have been contacted by the supermarket uh, supervisor. And he asked me if I could supply regularly this catfish. Well, that's a good business in the future. That is why I'm also putting uh, some concentration on the catfish breeding. And in fact, today we are uh, able now to grow in the mud pan some uh, 20,000 heads. And that's gonna be a fulfilling endeavor that we can wait for the channel if we're gonna harvest our catfish. Okay, that's enough for your breakfast. And of course, we will feed our Japanese koi. You look at our beautiful breeder koi here. We have so many varieties that are now ready for breeding. Only that I did not breed them all because we lack of facility. And that's the thing that we have to consider. We cannot just breed and breed without a prepared tank for them. But they are eating the breakfast well. And I have a problem with the tank because it turns green every time I change the water. My practice here is, of course you see that I have so many plants over there. And every morning, I'll just get half of the water and then we will water the plants and then we will fill in with new water from the deep well. So instead of using directly the water from the deep well to the plants, we will use instead the water from the fish pan in order to save some water and electric consumption. So we will feed now our fish. Oh, I'm so sad because some of them were really eaten by the birds. Come on, you eat, please. Uh, these are the ranchu. Oh, see? And you cannot feed them uh, plenty because they are just tiny fish that can consume little amount of food. Oh, see? And here's the water bubble eye. I have two casualties yesterday of this uh, water bubble eye. I'm so sad. But we will recover it soon because they are now due for breeding. 
and this beautiful pearl scale are here and this big orandas and you will see that my fish inside the aquarium was also been attacked by the birds you will see here I, I covered my aquarium here I put some net so that the birds cannot penetrate inside I personally saw it the birds are perching on here there are two of them actually and the beak would just you know penetrate the fish inside that one of the biggest fish that I had was killed oh that poor fish so we will remove this cover hi Yana I'm making a vlog this is my daughter Yana say hi You know, this daughter of mine has autism and uh, it's really very hard. Those of you who have relatives who has, you know, autism can relate with what I am talking right now. Sometimes she just, you know, throw tantrums. You cannot really understand what she likes. The mood swings are very changeable. And uh, this is my challenge, actually. This is my personal challenge. So we will remove this mark, please. And then we will feed now our ducks. So come on, let's go. Guys, we will feed our ducks and geese and some of our turkeys. And I'm so happy because we were able to spot them already, you know, in the mood of uh, breeding. They're actually breeding. And we will feed them here. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I know you're hungry. <laughs> stay there, stay there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Sit the balik tada ke. Okay. Come on, him. Come on over here. Come on, come on. It seems that you're not hungry. Do you eat that? Come on, you eat. Okay, okay, here. Okay, we have, we have the exclusive. So this is my daily routine and I'm happy doing this. I have so many things to do, of course. Uh, I'm preparing now for my office work. And also, I have to send my children to school. I will personally drive for them to school. And these are the things that makes me busy and, of course, happy. And I'm, I'm so challenged with my daughter who has an autism. You look at her, it's, uh, she's really very friendly. But sometimes she will just change the mood. And that's why I am so thankful about your advice about the physical activity that should be increased and of course we have to let him you know do her own thing in order for her to become independent these are the words that i i got from you so thank you guys for watching and i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're uploading videos every three days now only here at dexter's world